listening to PetLifeRadio.com. Hello and welcome to Six Figure Dog Business. I'm your host, Ty Brown of TyTheDogGuy.com. Thanks for joining us today on PetLifeRadio.com. Now, this is the show where we help you start or grow your dog-related business to a healthy six-figure per year or more income. Now, I'm excited for the show today because it seems like the last several shows that I've done have been with people in the dog industry, which is great, but I also love getting perspectives from people outside of the dog industry. So, When we come back, I'm going to be speaking with April Melton, who is not in the dog industry. So stay right with us. Sit. Stay. We'll be right back after a short pause. Listen, cat people, it's just litter. Until you realize those big boxes mean big smells, big messes, and big money. Switch to World's Best Cat Litter, the only litter with concentrated power. It guarantees less smells, less work, all with less litter. Try the small bag that lasts one cat 30 days and you'll realize it's just litter. Unless it's World's Best Cat Litter. Find it at Target, Walmart, and at your local grocery and pet stores. Let's Talk Pets on PetLifeRadio.com. Okay, and we're back. And uh, first off, April, thank you so much for being on the show today. I'm really excited. Thank you for asking. Now, I kind of mentioned in the intro that uh, that you're not in the dog industry, but you kind of even told me before the show that on a certain level you are. Why don't you tell folks what you do, where you are, and, and a little bit about you? I'm a family and children's photographer in El Paso, Texas. I photograph dogs and cats when the families bring them, but that's kind of how I started my career because it's easier to make friends with a dog than people. <laughs> gotcha. Yes, it very much can be easier to make friends with a dog, uh, as long as we're not talking about an aggressive dog, of course. Right. So, so good. And so now, for the folks listening at home, April and I belong to the same forum. Um, it's a marketing forum. It's on Facebook, and it, it has to do with uh, a membership that we have to a marketing website. And so in any case, that's how we met, and uh, I saw her talking about how she's able to keep herself booked solid. Now, I knew that she was, uh, you know, that she was a photographer, but I was thinking to myself, I was saying, you know, if she can keep herself booked solid as a photographer, that's probably not a whole lot different than keeping yourself booked solid as a dog trainer, a pet sitter, a dog walker, a dog groomer, etc. That there's probably a ton of uh, a ton of overlap. And so you agree, right, April? We're going to find some overlap today, right? We definitely will. And so what I wanted to talk about, I know that you do something called a birthday club. And so that's one of the ways that you're able to keep yourself book solid. That's one of the, the biggest sources that you have for leads and things like that. And so give us a little bit of background on how you came up with this birthday club. Well, I'm the, also the mother of five kids. Nice. And when I was a high school senior, there was a, a really great photographer in my hometown. And his primary business was high school seniors. But how he got to meet high school seniors was that he gave away a free photo session to all kids in the city that were 2 through 10 years old. And to me, that's a pretty cool idea because you get to meet the family for children that are 2 through 10. You would come down and make your appointment and he would give you the royal treatment. He'd put you in the studio, make sure that somebody brought you a bottle of water and that you were comfortable and your kids weren't cranky. And then when you got in the camera room, he would bring out the best backdrops, everything, the whole experience for free. Wow. Okay. Absolutely free for kids that were two through 10 in their birth month. And that way he knew up until 10 years old where you lived Mm -hmm. because you would come in for that free photo session. And so when it was time for him to market to you as a senior, he knew you where you were and he knew which high school you went to because you'd already developed a rapport with him. So that's very smart marketing when you think about it. 
That is. Now, he obviously had a, an incredibly long-term marketing plan here. He obviously knew, hey, I'm going to be here for a long time. I'm going to go after kids that are two years old, and maybe one day you know, the parents will buy stuff for me. Did you find, though, that people bought stuff on the front end? I mean, were... Oh, were yes. People- Okay, yeah. so it's not like he was losing money for 10 years. He was actually making money and then was able to sell him portraits. Is that how he worked it? Well, the thing was, he, he gave each client the royal treatment. So they obviously got the best photos gotcha. instead of somebody that was doing shoddy work. You know, like a Groupon style, come in, see me. I'm going to give you a little treat and leave. He gave you the full experience. And then there would be 50 pictures laying on the table. And how could you walk away knowing you were only going to get one? Yeah. You know, and I think I want to highlight that for a second because I think I've bought Groupon deals and living social deals. And you can tell, you know, at a lot of these establishments where you go to redeem this deal, they're like, oh, it's a Groupon deal. And they know like, all right, we're not making that much money off of this. And so you don't get that royal treatment. You'd get like subpar treatment is what I found at a lot of these places. Have you found the same thing? I've never purchased a Groupon. I've only been on the selling end. So I can't say that because I... I have made some of my best clients as repeat customers from doing Groupons. And that's, you know, that's the way that Groupon sells the idea, right? That, hey, we get them in on a low price and then you wow them and you dazzle them and they become long-term clients. And so it sounds like you're obviously doing it the right way where it seems like so many folks when they're doing these like, you know, intro deals or low cost deals or free deals, they don't give them that experience. From what you're saying, it sounds like this gentleman that, that you worked with, and that was a huge part of, of his marketing plan was not just getting them in for something free, but making them happy and actually giving them a lot of value, right? Yes. And he was around long before Groupon. <laughs> gotcha. Okay. How long ago was this that you were working with him? Well, let's see. I graduated from high school in 1987. Okay. Gotcha. Okay. And so so here you are. You've learned this system from this gentleman who, who did this plan. And so you decided that when you started your business, you were going to do a birthday club. Is that how it went? Yes. And a lot of times we have studio software that allows you to take the information from a client you've already met. So you come in tomorrow and you already know me and I write down that your anniversary and your child's birthday are in August and September and I put it into my software. Well, previously, that was the only way was through people you already knew. What I came up with is a way to generate leads for people I don't know. Okay, so let's dive into that. Give us an overview of your program and how you've made it work. Well, what I did was I generated a lead capture form. I basically have a program where there's a pop-up that comes up on my website and says, Hey, Mom, I'd like to give your child a free birthday session and a free 5 by 7 All you have to do is tell me your name, your email, and your kids' names and birth dates. Let me interrupt you for a second because I know folks, you know, as they're hearing this, they're probably like, all right, what is this? And so I just wanted to highlight, we're going to put in the show notes what these tools are, right? So you've kind of got, you know, the five tools that you use to create this. So don't worry about jumping on a website right now. Those that are listening, just after you listen to the show, go to the show notes and uh, April's going to provide us a link where you can find all these either free or low cost tools, right? Yes. Awesome. Okay. So sorry, I interrupted you. Let's go back. So they come to your website, something comes up and it says, Hey, I want to give you this free cool stuff. It's a five by seven. It's a free sitting. What's your information? And we'll get you this free thing. So we're at that point. What's next? Well, the cool thing is it puts them on the list. And then the one piece of software that I found that's out there, there's several good auto responders and mailing lists, but MailChimp, they have what's called an automation series. And they can take a date and work backwards. So my birthday is next week, April 17th. And so I'm going to use that as an example. If I were signed up for my club on April 3rd, it will send me an email 14 days out saying, hey, your daughter's birthday is coming up. Don't forget you have a free session. Go ahead and click here to schedule your appointment. Oh, wow. So MailChimp, and I I know a lot of folks in the dog world are familiar with MailChimp, so that's not like a crazy new software for a lot of folks. Right. So MailChimp, they let you just put in, so you have the contact, and it lets you just put in a date, and then it'll count down to that date. I didn't know MailChimp did that. That's really cool. Yes, it will actually count back. 
And so I developed an email series of four emails. The first one goes out 14 days before the child's birthday. The second one goes out seven days before the child's birthday. The third one goes out and says, hey, Susie, happy birthday. We're so glad. You know, we hope you had a great year. You know, we hope you'll come in and see us. And then if we still haven't heard from them, we can go back seven days after the birthday. And then that'll send them an email or or a phone call or or what will you do seven days after the birthday? It does send them an email because at that point, I don't have a, these are new leads. Gotcha. Unless already uh, been to the program in another year. Okay. So I know that there's dog trainers and pet sitters and dog walkers listening to this and they're like, you know, I don't want to send somebody three or four emails. What do you say to that? You know, when someone says that you're spamming them or, you know, or something like that. Well, first of all, I get, and probably most of your pet trainers do too, they get emails every day from somebody that wants to sell them something that they're actually interested in. Mm -hmm. And what's more interesting than your child? But other than that, I don't think most people nowadays actually consider it spam. Not for emails. Well, and I agree with you, and I think most don't. I've had some people in the dog industry, because we do a lot of email marketing at our company, and so I've told people that, and they're like, oh, I would never do that. And I'm just like, that's fine. Don't do it. I'll just keep making the extra money. Right. (laughs) Yeah. That's it. And, you know, at least on ours, you know, I'm sure MailChimp is the same way. At the very bottom, it says, hey, don't send me any more emails. So if people don't want the emails, they can just opt right out. I'm sure MailChimp is the same way, right? Yes, it is. Cool. So I want to get a bigger overview of what you're doing with this birthday club because I think that we can apply this to dogs and dog owners. But we're going to take a quick break. Uh, When we come back, I'm going to dig a little bit deeper into your head and figure out what's going on here. So stay right with us. Sit. Stay. We'll be right back after a short pause. Amazing Pet Expos is coming to a city near you. Admission is always free and your pet is welcome. Shopping, adoptions, free nail trims, discounted shots and microchipping, agility, a pet costume contest, and much more. Plus, meet the guys from Animal Planet's hit TV series Tank and Pit Boss online at AmazingPetExpos.com. Bring your pets to the Pet Expo. Hi, Jill. I see you and Bella are enjoying this lovely day as well. It's a perfect day for a walk. Isn't that right, Bella? And what a colorful ID tag you have, Bella. It certainly puts my Rusty's boring engraved tag to shame. Isn't it great? It's a dog tag art tag. Dog tag art? Yeah. Dog tag art makes the world's coolest pet ID tags. Pick from hundreds of cute designs or upload your photos or artwork to create a unique tag of your own. They even give you four lines of text on the back of the tag for important contact information. I love it. But do they hold up? We have to replace Rusty's metal tags so often because the information wears away. Dog tag art tags are some of the highest quality pet tags out there. They're made with super durable stainless steel. Your information is always legible and the tags are guaranteed for life. Well, I'm sold. Where can I get my dog tag art tag for Rusty? Dogtagart.com. Shopping there is so easy and fun. You're sure to find one that matches Rusty's personality perfectly. Sounds great. We can't wait to get online and get a tag of our own. Dogtagart.com. We keep best friends together. Use the coupon code RADIO for a 25% discount off any tag. Let's talk pets. Let's talk pets. On Pet Life Radio. Pet Life Radio. PetLifeRadio.com. Okay, and we're back, and we're with April Melton, who is a photographer out of El Paso, Texas. And she's telling us how she's developed a birthday club, which is essentially a way to get leads from her website and use this birthday marketing where she offers them, you know, something cool, in this case, a sitting and a five by seven around their birthday. And so as you were setting this up, what were some of the drawbacks that you found when you were creating, because you wanted this to be automated, I know that, because, you know, in order to follow up with a thousand leads or a hundred leads or whatever, it takes so much time. So what drawbacks did you find when you were creating this automated club? 
Well, first of all, if you wanted to get a email series that would send out prior to the birth date, for the most part, you had to go out and find a programmer. And that mm-hmm. programmer was probably going to cost you anywhere between two and $5,000. And that's a big drawback to most small business owners. Absolutely, yeah. And second, I really wanted to generate leads. I wanted to not just contact people that I had already done business with, but people that I wanted to do business with in the future. Gotcha. Okay. And so now I understand, like I say, we kind of briefly mentioned that you've got these five tools. And again, there, you know, look at the show notes. There's going to be a link to these five tools. Can you tell us a little bit about them, though? You know, give us a brief overview here in the show. Sure. The first one is a way to sign up on the website. It's a pop-up and it's what they call the polite pop-up. You can put it on four or five different places on your website so that you don't annoy your visitors. It also tracks them by cookies so that if they've been to your website in the past, they won't see it again for a certain number of days. That's pretty awesome because, yeah, a lot of people say how much they hate pop-ups, but the reality is pop-ups work when you do it right. You know, when you're not being a pain in the butt with the pop-ups, they work really well. Absolutely. And then, of course, we mentioned MailChimp. Mm -hmm. And then I have this really cool thing I work with, and it's a WordPress plugin, but it helps me to schedule my blog posts. And that was its main function when it was designed. It's called CoSchedule. And it was designed to help you keep editorial track of your blog post. But it has another really cool added feature. It allows you to pre-write all of your social media inside of it and schedule it between the day your blog post is published all the way out to 30 days afterwards. Okay. And how does this work into your program, into your birthday club? Well, it allows me to go in and promote my birthday club by just writing a blog post and then putting the birthday graphic with it. And that birthday graphic goes out to Facebook, Twitter, Google+. But here's the neat thing. You know about Facebook groups, right? Yeah, yeah. How many Facebook groups do you think you belong to? Oh, I know I probably belong to a bunch. There's probably about four that I regularly contribute and learn from. And are they generally to do with pets? They're either marketing or dog related, yeah. Okay. So imagine that if as a pet trainer, you were posting small classified ads in your local yard sale groups. Mm Mm-hmm. If you were going to do that on Facebook, you would have to go to every single group and post your classified ad. Right. Yeah, you'd have to be a member first and then post it and then you might get, you know, potentially kicked out if you violate the rules. But yeah, yeah. So what is it you do? Co-schedule allows you when you're writing your blog post to add as many groups as you want. So describe to me what that looks like. I'm trying to visualize what that looks like. So co-schedule, you write your post in WordPress, you schedule it to go out at a certain point, and so it publishes on your site at a certain point, and then when it publishes on your site, it also publishes to Twitter and and Facebook, is what you're saying? Yes, but it also will post at any other time you want to. So it's like a reminder, hey, by the way, we posted this on Monday, you should go check it out. That's awesome. So how does it get into the Facebook group, though? I don't know how the architecture works. I know that if you could suddenly send to 20 Facebook groups at a time, a lot of people would take advantage of it until they were accused of spamming. And I don't recommend spamming. I I recommend doing it in a reasonable fashion where maybe you have a, a set day that you post to a specific group. It can literally send to a thousand groups if you wanted it to. And so I'm familiar with the types of groups that you're talking about. In fact, now that you mention, I think I belong to more groups than I thought because there's a couple garage sale groups that I belong to. There's a a little community group for the certain community that I live in that I belong to. And so I see these types of posts. And so how do you structure it so people don't go, ah, she's trying to sell? Do you just structure, you know, a nice content piece or, or what's the best way that you found? You know, I try to alternate all of those things. And I think that that's the best mix. Maybe you mm-hmm. do a nice content piece that's educational for one one group. 
and then you alternate with a sales ad and you kind of go back and forth because nobody wants to be bombarded with ads ever. Yeah, yeah, of Not course. Even in a yard sale group. Of course. That's a really cool tool. It's called CoSchedule or CoScheduler? CoSchedule. CoSchedule. And so is that just a, a plug-in for WordPress? It's actually a standalone website. And then when you sign up for it, it's 10 bucks a month. It's so cost effective. It's like pennies that um, you sign up for it and they give you the plugin to install in your WordPress blog. But you can always go to the website and look at your editorial calendar if you're on mobile or something like that. Okay. So, so just to kind of, again, to diagram what's going on. So you've got this club. Now, of course, the club is meaningless unless people join the club. Right. And so in order to promote that club, you write content pieces that, of course, are on your website. So people find your website, you know, through SEO or they find your website, however. But they also find your website through kind of these co-schedule Facebook posts that are either content pieces or promotional pieces that then lead them back to the website where they sign up for your birthday club. Am I getting the diagramming right? You've got it. And of course, because you're using the classified ads, and of course, yes, you're going to have a lot of people would say, oh, if they're in the classifieds, they're cheap. But that's not always true. A lot of good people are out there looking, you know, they have money, but they're still looking for a deal. Mm -hmm. I get on the garage sale list and I'm the richest guy I've ever met. (laughs) I'm just kidding. No, but I know exactly what you're talking about. You will get, you know, you'll get all sorts. You'll get price shoppers, but you'll also get people because a lot of these garage sale things are in communities, higher end communities, you know, that, uh, you know, where the incomes are pretty high, right? Sure. Okay. So let's bring this back to us as dog trainers, pet sitters, dog walkers, dog groomers, et cetera. How can we apply this type of same thing to our business? I believe that pet owners, and I have two cats right now. If you offered me a birthday program and I wasn't a photographer, I would take my cats just about anywhere for a free treat. So I think pet parents, they want to celebrate their animals just as much as human parents want to celebrate their human babies. A lot of pet owners are single females who uh, will dote on their animals, I believe. So if you created a program where, you know, somebody, you've just trained an animal and you say, oh, by the way, we'll give you a free treat next year if you stop in for a refresher course, that could become an annual that drives recurring business because you could probably upsell them something. Now, what about this? You know, let me spitball with you because as you're mentioning this, I'm thinking for certain dog related businesses, there can be somewhat of a cyclical nature or some of the, you know, highs and lows. So, for example, in dog training, typically December is a low month, January is a low month because there was Christmas and then people are recovering from Christmas. And so, you know, you tend to see dog training being less. For boarding, dog boarding is going to be more during that time. For grooming, you know, you find a lot of people get their animals groomed around the holidays, so it's going to be more at that time. And so have you ever thought of or what would you think about, like, let's say a dog trainer running just an annual Christmas promotion this exact same way or or running two or three promotions during the year that were just kind of automated and set in there? Have you done something like that? Would uh, Can you see something like that working? You could definitely do that. You could definitely do that with your email. Just pick a date and pre-write it in January when you're thinking about it. And then, you know, mark it on your calendar. Oh, by the way. And I do that with my blog. With I have something called Duplicate Post. And every year I have basically the same promotions. I just duplicate the post and change the date. Okay. No, this is beautiful because, you know, I can see how this could go a lot of different ways for, I mean, depending on the business of those, you know, that's listening to this. Because, yeah, you could run your Christmas promotion. You could do the exact same thing that April's doing and do, you know, a birthday promotion. Say, okay, your dog's in our birthday club now. In fact, you could even do a joint venture with a photographer, a pet photographer, and say, you know, say, hey, I'm going to bring people to you in return. Um, You know, it's going to add value to my business. Why don't we do one day every quarter where we bring these dogs? in and you take pictures and blah, blah, blah. I can see something like that working, right? That would definitely work. And if there's anybody in the El Paso area that would like to do that, I would be totally up for meeting you. (laughs) 
Yeah, that would be a really good joint venture. But but yeah, so I could see because of the tools that you're mentioning, and again, click the link below to get those tools. I could see you doing a blog post about you know dog birthdays, and then having that little friendly reminder say, "Hey, you know what's your dog's birthday? We'll enter him in our club or whatever, and you'll get this free whatever." And then I could see you running a different promotion around Christmas time. Say, "Hey, Christmas is coming. You know why don't you come in for a free stocking for your dog? You know, enter your information, and then it just kind of has this countdown that keeps reminding them or whatever, and then." And if your slow time of the year as a groomer is September, you know, or whatever, you know, you could run a promotion during that period of time that says, hey, it's back to school time, you know, bring your dog in to get groomed for back to school. So anyways, I can see this running not just birthdays, but a variety of different ways. And so that's boy, this is brilliant. The trick is, though, you want to make sure you're one giving something for free. Mm hmm. Because free is always attractive. Two, you have to make sure that you provide the very, very best service you can so that they want to come back when they really need your services. Instead of going, oh, you know, I had a lousy experience with so-and-so and I think I'm just going to find another, you know, you have to really lay on the, the smooth talk and, and make sure that you take them that bottle of water in the studio and, and check on them and, you know, give them that best experience yeah, it, like I was mentioning earlier, you know, with the Groupon things that I've done, it's been like restaurants and stuff. You know, you go in and you show them you've got a Groupon. It's like, oh, okay. You know, they they think they're going to get a lower tip or whatever, so they don't, you know, they don't treat you as well. So yeah, I think that's huge, the customer service aspect. So uh, shoot, we've taken the whole half hour. In closing here, let me ask you, what has this done for your business? Because you had mentioned how you're able to keep yourself book solid. What is this one? Because pr- I know you do a lot of different promotions, but what does this one promotion do for you? For me, it would average a total of 36,000 extra dollars a year. And what would you say it takes you as far as time and money investment? About four hours to set up because I did it myself the first time and -hmm. nobody was there to show me the ropes or how to put it together. But I would say it cost me $36 a month. So in those five tools that you'll share in the notes... If you had all five of those tools, it's $36 a month? Yes. That's nice. And so this, again, I don't want to just gloss over this. I want folks at home to really pay attention here. And this is why I wanted to bring this to you, bring this method to you, because so many folks in the dog world think that client attraction needs to be very time consuming and it can and that's not a bad thing you know it's not a bad thing to go out there and create relationships with veterinarians it's a wonderful thing you know to create relationships with other folks to spend time on this to spend time on that all of that's awesome but what if you could supplement that with campaigns like this that took four hours to set up and then every now and then you post a blog post and it it, it promotes for you just the hands-off automated nature of this you'd be crazy not to figure out how to do something like this right Well, the way I look at it, if I photograph 10 kids for free and I give mom an opportunity to sit down and look at those pictures of her child for free, she's going to end up spending $300 with me before she walks out. Mm -hmm. And 10 times 300 is Mm 3,000. Now, for just 36 bucks, I'm happy to part with 36 bucks to make 3,000. So that's kind of an average return for you would be about 10 clients a month on something like this? Well, I think it will be more in the future, but this is still relatively young for me. We already have 100 signups and we've only been in we've only had it online for about 3 weeks. Oh, you're kidding. That's a ton of leads. That's right? amazing. Yeah. Because moms have 3 or 4, you know, 2 3 kids. And so every time they sign up, I get a couple of kids and I have different birthdays. Now, again, to be really, really happy, I only need 10, you know, that's that's extra. And that doesn't even take into account repeat business, cross promotions, things like that. I mean, you're just talking the front end is $36,000 in a year. The back end is potentially much bigger because there's referrals. They come back next year. They come back for their senior portraits. They come, you know, and so on and so forth. Yeah, family photos. And so so that's the beautiful part because creating the lead up front is always the hardest part. And then, uh, you know, after that, it's just fulfilling it and making people happy. And then, you know, instead of that $300, that person might turn into $600 or $1,000 as time goes on, right? Definitely. Awesome. Yep. Okay, well, April, this has been this is a really cool method. It's uh, the cool part about it to me. Not only is it automated, but it sounds pretty simple. And so, if people go down to the show notes, they click on that link, and they get these five tools. Is it going to be fairly obvious what they need to do with that? Pretty much, yeah. 
as they click on the links, there's some information about what each of those tools does. And then there's the link to the actual tool if they want to invest in it or learn more. Awesome. Well, hey, this has been some amazing information. I appreciate you being on today, April. Thank you. I've had a blast. And for folks listening at home, I uh, recommend you head over to PetLifeRadio.com and check out uh, Six Figure Dog Business. Check out all the different shows that we've done. I also recommend you check out all the different shows. They do a ton of amazing shows on PetLifeRadio.com. If you're interested to see what we're doing, go to TieTheDogGuy.com. And April, why don't we plug your website? How can people see what you're doing down in El Paso? My website is ElPasoPortraits.com. ElPasoPortraits.com. Awesome. Thank you to everyone today for listening. We'll talk to you soon. Let's Talk Pets, every week on demand, only on PetLifeRadio.com.